and welcome to This Week on Xbox. Let's kick things off with this week's headlines. The wait is over. Crackdown 3 is coming tomorrow. Let the boom begin in this explosive sandbox all about mayhem and destruction. And be sure to check out Xbox Sessions on the Xbox YouTube channel to see real-life agent Terry Crews test his mettle. Ridiculous, over-the-top game possible. You know, I love, the term is extra. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's extra, man. This is like, Sharknado is perfect. That's the perfect term. This is all extra. Crackdown 3 is an Xbox Play Anywhere title, supports Xbox cross-platform multiplayer, and launches on Xbox Game Pass February 15th. Next, rejoin your favorite animal companion in Far Cry New Dawn and get ready to go national. Explore locations across a post-nuclear USA, taking on bigger and badder challenges to craft new weapons, vehicles, and gear. The game launches tomorrow, February 15th, and we'll have an extended look at one of the expeditions in the game later in the show, so stick around. I'm wiping those hopes and dreams off my boots. <laughs> Some of the biggest anime franchises will be clashing in Jump Force. With over 40 of your favorite characters from 16 different series, you can battle to save the planet and settle a bet on who would win, Goku or Naruto. Our very own Rikari Austin sat down with producer Koji Nakajima to discuss the game. Take a look. All right, we're here to talk about Jump Force and we've got producer Nakajima-san from Bandai. I just gotta know, give me the general overview for Jump Force. This game is actually a celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Shonen Jump magazine series. And it's going to showcase all your familiar superheroes that, uh, from the Shonen Jump series that can clash uh, in a single arena. This is going to be actually an unprecedented fusion between the real world and that Shonen Jump comic world. So it's gonna be a, a really great clash there. And we're also going to have, you can also create your own uh, hero, your customized hero. And uh, you can sort of engage in this sort of, uh, this new type of real versus sort of uh, imaginative world. Sounds good. Well, I'll be looking forward to Jump Force's release date. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thank you. Metro Exodus is out February 15th. Journey beyond the tunnels in this latest installment set in an alternate future Russia. You'll cross an eerily dystopian wasteland aboard the Aurora. Also, new weapon customization systems allow you to improve your arsenal on the fly, but doing so will leave you exposed, so watch your back. Plus, diehard fans will want to stay to the end of the episode for a look at the Spartan Collector's Edition. Ready for another round? This is a blockbuster month for Xbox Game Pass, and it got even better this week. In addition to Crackdown 3, new releases include Shadow of the Tomb Raider, The Blob, Pumped BMX Pro, and The Walking Dead Complete First Season. Plus, there are more coming soon, so keep an eye out. And new games with gold are coming on February 16th. You'll be able to enjoy Super Bomberman R and the classic Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. Here is a new look at Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. If you're a fan of side-scrolling action-adventure, then stay tuned for more news coming soon. Black Desert Online is hosting its final open beta today through February 19th. It's here that you'll also get a first look at new PvP content called Node Wars. Don't miss it. Now, here is a look at one of the expeditions coming to Far Cry New Dawn. These are snatch-and-grab missions set in unique and surprising locations across the U.S. Missions begin at the Expedition Facility in Prosperity, where you'll choose a highwayman target. From there, you must fly in to steal a package filled with valuable crafting materials and get out. These materials will allow you to craft new weapons, vehicles, and gear. This particular mission is called Walking Horse Nuclear Plant Expedition. Bonus tip, expeditions can be replayed for bigger challenges and rewards, so keep at it. In talking with the development team, they told me that Expeditions takes place on smaller, focused maps, giving the studio the freedom to go a bit crazier with the design and allowed them to push the graphics, increase the max number of enemies, and set up large enclosed spaces which create fresh opportunities for close quarter combat. Remember, Far Cry New Dawn launches February 15th, so be sure to check it out. How about a look at the Metro Exodus Spartan Collector's Edition? This thing comes in a gigantic barrel-shaped packaging based on an in-game design and includes a premium quality 
Artyom statue, authentic Spartan Order dog tags, Artyom's Memories collectible postcard, and two authentic Spartan Order patches. Plus, the Spartan Collector's Edition can be purchased as a standalone item or complete with a copy of the Aurora Limited Edition, which contains a copy of the game and an exclusive steelbook, a beautiful World of Metro art book, and the Metro Exodus Expansion Pass. Visit MetroTheGame.com to learn more or purchase yours now. That's all for this week. Follow us on YouTube and Mixer to keep up to date on the show and check back next Thursday for an all new episode. Thanks for watching. Yeah.